the American hostages. Uh, can you first of all tell us how many are we talking about several or a dozen hostages um, and do you know anything about their condition at all? We do not know about their condition and we cannot confirm a precise number of American citizens. We believe that there are 20 or more Americans who at this point are missing but I want to underscore and stress that does not mean necessarily that there are 20 or more American hostages. Just that is the number who are currently unaccounted for. We will work hour by hour both to determine whether we can account for any of those Americans or to confirm exactly what the number of Americans are being held hostage, and we will come back to you with that information as soon as we have it. As you know, very sadly and tragically, the number of dead has risen with each passing hour. And that's true of the total number. It's also true of Americans, which has gone up just today uh, from an earlier report this morning of 12, then 13, now 14. So I cannot give you a precise number. I can tell you that number of unaccounted for at this time. That number could change too. But I want to underscore that that is not a statement for me that we have that many hostages. We do not know the number of hostages we have at this time. And did the President discuss with the Prime Minister the possibility of a ground incursion into Gaza and also how that might affect the American hostages that are in Gaza that are now confirmed? I'm not going to get into the operational discussions that the President and the Prime Minister had. Uh, that is important for them to be able to keep uh, in a discrete channel between them. What I will tell you is that the President and Prime Minister did discuss how the United States can deploy expertise to help work on the hostage recovery efforts. That is what the United States is in the process of doing right now, Steve.